بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم Take one step at a time. We are going to be judged first by our intentions. How are you going to be more sincere in your intentions? You must ask yourself why you are doing it. You want to help someone. Sincerely you want to help. Then you must ask, why am I doing this? Am I doing this so the one, that one is going to say thank you? Am I doing this so that one is going to praise me? Am I doing this so that I will get rewards? Or am I doing it ikhlas for the sake of Allah? You're doing it for Allah's sake? The reward is Him. You're doing it for Him. You're doing it for something else, Allah is the most generous He will give you. So what does that mean, having a sincere intention? It doesn't mean the way West understand, I make sincere intention, everything must open, everything must work for me. No. In fact, so many times, you make sincere intention to do something good, you'll find it so difficult to fulfill. As the Prophet is saying, if you take one step in the way of Allah, there is going to be 70 shaitans that is going to be in front of you to sabotage you. Now, your responsibility to understand what are those shaitans? What are they? Who are they? Are they upstairs? Are they downstairs? Is it inside of you? Is it outside of you? Why are you doing this? Are you going to do this if the person is happy or the person is angry? The person is sad, the person praises you. Or the person is going to curse you. Are you still going to do it? Then you'll understand if you're doing it for the sake of Allah or not. You make the intention to be very strong. Then you cannot fulfill 100% of that intention. It's okay. Try again. <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. You do it, you cannot. Try to find why I cannot. Yeah, this tariqat makes you think. You have to work. You're not going to sit there, recite a couple of things, and imagine the skies to open for you. It's not like that. Sa'ad Kiram did not have it easy. The prophets did not have it easy. So we are going to be tested, those who are following their way. It's not so easy to just say also, eh, medet, and then it's going to come. No. In this way, you may say medet, but you already made intention to go against that. They will let you to go too. Once upon a time, there was a mirror, thinking he was something. The sheikh praised him openly. He starts to believe it. Others around him start to praise him too and believe it. But to those whom the Shah is giving some special knowledge, he's saying, look and watch. They understand. They don't say anything. So this one, the Shah would praise him. This one starts saying, if my Shah is praising me, then it must be it. So many saints come and visit him, so many prophets come and visit him, of course. The Shaykh is smiling. The Shaykh is looking at those ones who are understanding and say, do you understand? They say, Istaghfirullah Shaykh, we understand. Istaghfirullah. Everywhere that one goes, saints and prophets come out from the grave and greet him, talk to him. The Shaykh smiles, starts saying a couple of things, but that one becomes so, the heart becomes so deluded. So drunk, drunk, that's why drinking, to be drunk, it is forbidden, drunk. He became so drunk, that at that time the Sheikh may even tell him that it is wrong and smiling. He was so drunk, he thinks the Sheikh is just, you know, doing it to him like that. To be drunk. 
Shaykh Afendi is saying, the one who drinks physically, liquor, Allah has given to all of mankind, not only to believers <laughs> or good people, all of mankind. When they drink, they wake up always, they regret. There is always pain. They come out from it. But the one who is drunk from his nafs, from his ego, from his arrogance, from his other wrong qualities, if he doesn't wake up by himself, no one has the permission to wake him up. That time the fire will wake him. May Allah save us from that, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always have people to wake us up from our drunken station. Fear is important. So, that one saying, Oh, mashallah, we went to this, let's say, um, thank you, everyone, inshallah. What is it? To Mehfil, Zikir, and Mawlid. Oh, Mawlid. Going, saying to the Shaykh, Shaykh, I went. Shaykh, and he said, Hmm. Yeah. And this one praising me, asking me to go up to this podium and to speak and to do this and to do that. And I saw this and I saw that. And he's so, so smiling, 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 looking at this one, smiling. And he's saying, Did you ask my permission? So, so. I said, Medet. And then I went in. I said, Huh, mashallah. Very good. Nothing much was said. Slowly you see that one falling, falling because he's so drunk. Falling, falling, falling to the position where later he even denies that he had a share. Why? Why should be with a share when there are other bigger gauss, bigger prophets, bigger ones that are reaching out to him? This is school, yes? We are studying. To know that there are tests, small, big, there are examinations. But the student always knows we have to study. And when the test comes, the teacher that is in front of that one, that has been teaching that one all these years, can the student ask the teacher for help? to help him in the test, it's impossible. You can ask for help as much as you want. It's impossible. Because you did not study. You did not take and you did not put it in your life. Maybe you think it's for other people, it's not for you, but you didn't take it. That time ask, ask the teacher for help. The teacher is just going to smile at you. Are we taking for granted Shah Afendi is going to support us? We rely on his mercy, of course. But first we look to see what Shah Afendi has taught us. We cannot do as we like and then to say, Medet. We cannot follow our ego and then to say, Shafat. It does not work that way. There is still Shariat. And inside of Tariqat, there is still a Shariat. So look to our intentions properly. And ask for forgiveness often. If you fail, try again and look again. And be happy how much you can achieve for the sake of Allah. And say this much I can do, Ya Rabbi, shukur. Tomorrow is another day. Maybe today is not for me. May Allah make us become more patient, inshallah. Amin Allahu Tawfiq al-Fatiha.